Even though the South Pole is about as remote as you can get, there's still a surprising number of facilities and things to do while you're down here. So while I will be recording a full station tour probably around early to mid October when the sun is all the way up, I figured right now I'd actually give you a quick tour of five of my favorite places here at the South Pole. So first up, and therefore I guess number five on the list is the gym. So I actually come in here about five times a week with a buddy of mine, we lift weights together. And on top of that, I try to come in another, you know, three times or so to do some cardio. But I think it's really important to have a good routine while you're down here at the South Pole and the gym is a really perfect addition to that routine. Partially because it's, it's good for you, but on top of that, I think it's really good to be fit while you're down here. You know, we are at a really high altitude and the, ex the conditions are quite extreme. So being healthy and being fit is really important. As you can see, it is rather small, but it is also quite well stocked. So honestly, it's, it's pretty much got anything that you might need and anything that you want to do. Of course, in number four, you cannot forget about the greenhouse. So aside from the obvious advantages of getting fresh things to eat, like tomatoes and, and lettuce and stuff like that, there are so many other benefits to this space. For example, if you're alone and you just want to hang out by yourself, it's a great place to come and read a book or even make a phone call if you want some humidity and this natural light or like the closest thing that we have to it. So it's a really great place to come relax if you're on your own. But on top of that, it's also a really fantastic area to be if you want to have a small social get together, but still want those added things like the humidity. So yeah, this growing room is amazing. Come hang out here, touch some leaves, and then you can go hang out in the little hangout area and read a book. And number three, you've got the quiet reading room. <laughs> and oh man, there are some really good memories in this place. So I can't tell you how many times like after work or in the evening sometime, if we're gonna have a small get together with just like a couple of different people, this is the absolute perfect place. I've had so many good life talks here. I've, I've planned travels here, like using that map right there. I mean, just the most amazing conversations have happened in this room. And on top of that, sometimes for things like birthdays, people like to have like their birthday party down here because it can be really good to just kind of get a change of scenery from the general lounge that we hang out in. But on top of all that social stuff, being able to come down here and just relax on your own is just also amazing. Personally, I like to come down and play piano if I want to relax and unwind or sit down here and read or listen to music. It's, it's just perfect for all that. So yeah, a lot of great memories in this room. I absolutely love it. In second place, I have to say is the sauna. Oh man. I think by far it is like the best place to think. I definitely come in here to think anytime I need to make like a big decision or something like that. This is where I sit right there. That's where I, that's where I make my big choices. <laughs> But I think, I think the big reason I really love this place so much is that it's the only space on station where I feel like I can actually escape. Being at the South Pole is such a special thing and it's an honor and it's a privilege to be here and it's, it's really special, but sometimes it's, it's really nice to kind of let your mind escape. And I've personally found this is really the only place I can do that. Even in my room, it's so small and it's, it's decorated like my Antarctica room and I, I can't really get away in there and going to a place like the greenhouse. Yeah, there's fresh things and humidity there as well, but yeah, it's, it's, it's also artificial that it's, it's really hard to feel like you're escaping. But when you come here and you make it dark and hot and humid, it's, I could be in any sauna in the world. And that's, that's really nice and, and really important sometimes. So yeah, absolutely love this place, but the sauna is not turned on, but it's still quite hot in here. So I'm gonna get going. <laughs> and lastly, my favorite place in the South Pole Station, the B1 Lounge. <laughs> this is by far where like my best memories at the South Pole have been made. This is where everyone hangs out on like a Saturday night to blow off some steam after a long week of work or even honestly on most nights of the week, you can find someone in here whether they're playing video games or playing pool or darts or something like that. So. Yeah, this, this room is definitely the social heartbeat of the South Pole Station. On top of that, right attached to it, we still have another TV lounge, which is probably the better of the two TV lounges on station. Has more comfortable couches, but yeah, B1, definitely, definitely the best part of the pole. So yeah, there you have it. Five of my favorite places here at the South Pole. 
I think if, if I could add a sixth, I guess I would probably add my room. I mean, it definitely feels like my room considering I have stayed here for two separate winters. And as you know, I've been able to deck it out exactly how I like and it's a place that I feel very comfortable. So yeah, I guess, I guess I'm gonna change this to six of my favorite places and add my room to that list. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed that little quick tour and I hope it made you excited for the full station tour that will be coming up eventually. Um, but yeah, if you did like it, you know what to do. Make sure you go down below, little hit that little like button, subscribe, uh, the bell so you get notified, comment, share, um, you, know the, you know the drill. And yeah, on that note, thank you so much and I will see you next week.